Here are the products that I will be using to do my friend Marin's makeup. We will be doing glowy skin with natural nude eyeshadow. First, I'm going to start off with priming the skin with the MAC Prep Set Spray. Then I will be blending it in with a beauty blender. I like to get my beauty blender wet so it expands. Wrapping a clean towel around it and squeezing is a good way to get all the excess water out of it. I like using it wet over dry because it makes blending products easy on the skin. Next, I will be doing her eyebrows with the Anastasia Eyebrow Pencil in Auburn and the NYX Brow Gel in the shade Blonde. Using a spoolie, I am blending in the brow pencil so there are no harsh lines. Now I am using the gel. This is helpful for bringing color to some light hairs and keeps the hairs in place so the eyebrow stays all day and night. Now I will be carving out the eyebrow with a thin concealer brush and Pro Conceal in the shade 01. I will blend the product slightly with the brush but use the Beauty Blender to fully blend in the product all over the eyelid to create a base for the eyeshadow. First, I will be applying this light brown and packing it all over the eyelid with a dense eyelid brush. Then I will be using this very light cream color with a crease brush and putting it in the crease and blending it with the lid shade. Now with a fluffy blending brush, I will be taking this dark brown shade and placing it in the outer corner to create more depth. With a small lid brush, I'm taking the white shade and putting it on the inner corner of the lid. Taking the MAC spray again, I'm putting one spray on the back of my hand. With a small rounded brush, I pat it in the MAC prep and set because it does a really great job of bringing out the shimmers and sparkly eyeshadows. Using a white shimmery eyeshadow, I am placing it on the eyelid. Using the same brush, I will be using this MAC highlighter and placing it on the inner corner and the brow bone. Using a NYX black liner, I'm creating a small black line along the upper lash line. I am now mixing these two foundations to create the perfect match for her skin tone. The first one is the Fit Me and the second one is MAC. Also going in with my beauty blender to evenly blend it out. Mm -hmm. 
also going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cover her blemishes. I will be taking the beauty blender and lightly dabbing to blend in the concealer. With the ColourPop blush stick, I will be putting some of the product on the back of my hand and using a blush brush, I will put it in the warmed up blush and place it on her cheeks and across her nose and blend it upwards towards the ear. With the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and an angled bronzing brush, I will put the bronzer on the top of her forehead to create the appearance of a smaller forehead. Then, to create depth under her cheekbones, I will swipe the product in an upwards motion to lift the face. With the Fit Me Press Powder, I'm going to be baking her face using a dry, flat, edged beauty blender. I will be putting it on the center of her forehead, the jawline, and under the cheekbones to define the contour. Now using a fluffy, slim brush, I will be highlighting it with the Wet n Wild in a champagne pink color. This will make her skin glow as I put it on her nose, cheekbones, and Cupid's bow. Now I'm taking a big fluffy brush to blend and set the face products. Finally, I will be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Black to amplify her lashes. This will finish the look. <laughs> 